Hello everybody, this is um, Jerome right here again, and I'm in um, my 57th video here, and um, you're looking at an image of um, a Renaissance painting of, um, of Queen Esther. Now, um, Queen Esther is one of the most famous women in Jewish history, and a great heroine to that of her people. Um, she was also a consort to a um, to a king of um, Persia. Her her biblical historical moments can be realized um, as being in the Old Testament in the Bible, um, and it's reference um, 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 more of a mystery than facts about the queen. Um, just as with the, um, the in many cases with our biblical figures, who are mentioned but. Leaves us wondering in so much as far as having so many questions afterwards because nothing is seemingly answered about them. Everything is mystified, in other words. Okay, now, <clears throat> anytime you see me pull up an image, people, you automatically know that Jerome is going to go ahead and start. And it's decodings. Now, this is just one of three of the paintings. If you were to Google um, the image of Queen Esther, um, this is just one of many that have come up, but these are, are, are recognized on online, so you'll be able to, um, by the Cipedia. So these will be images that you can actually pull up and, um, and verify basically what I'm doing. Now, the first thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the pot here. All right. Because this does appear in a many, many renaissance artist paintings and i'm just going to just go ahead and outline it there that pot it is my contention that that pot has an ancient rooted history with our um, um with our artists and, and 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 with the evolution of mankind and i think that in my mind that it symbolizes that of what we have identified as being the the cauldron if i'm saying that right which actually can be linked back to um, witches and um, and 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 um, and 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 per I mean um, um, pagan worship and Wicca worship, where it actually has some type of symbol, like almost like a satanic like symbolism to it. Um, I know as, as as I was a kid growing up, I would see a witch in in, in a lot of the. Um, and a lot of um, um, images of staring and making a witch's brew and all of that. And that's basically what this means as being depicted in this picture here. There's a brew being mixed up. And it's, it's not dealing with food, though. It's dealing with a cocktail, a chemistry, a genetic manipulation and bridging of genetics of ancient mankind. Which actually is, 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 um, can be um, traced into... Um, um, Today, I mean modern day. But anyway, I'm going to take and show you here. I'm just going to draw a few images because this is not the original image that I want to be on. But I'm just going to show you a couple of things on how all of the images that, that, that are in likeness still yet carry or bear those encryptions. If you look in here, and the images are multidimensional people, you'll see in here recognizable faces, first of all. Now, I mean, anybody can strongly argue, right? and then there's another face leaning into it coming from this way as well, too. But they're multidimensional, and and um, I'm not going to go go into drawing because I'm upside down here. But these faces that are here, they're multidimensional. You can turn them upside down, you can flip, and you will see a face pretty much in in every and and here you see almost like a demonic figure right here. You see, and he's facing, this is a woman on this side facing into him. And then here's a demonic-like figure right here. There, I'm at his eye. This will be his would be horn. And he's facing into the woman here. I would be pretty much at her hair there. And they're facing each other. Okay, this is the cauldron cup that I'm, that I'm alleging. I'm going to take, this is not what I'm trying to show you, but I just want to show you how these identifiers is there. Now, Anybody can put anything on a cauldron. So, I mean, so therefore, I would not use that as trying to prove something to you or establish what I have found. But when you can take it from here, and then I start saying, well, okay, well, Jerome, you say, well, what genetics are being cooked or brewed up in that pot? 
Right. Must, well, ancient genetics, which we all know are linked to that of mankind, which would be um, what we recognize would be ape, would be the num number one thing. So let's say coming out of the pot then, well, you say, Jerome, show me an ape. And I come here and I take and start drawing little images that are recognizable to that of the ape. Which was brewed out. I mean, brewed out of the um, the pot. If you if you want to look at it in that way, and there's the ape right here. And you say, okay, well, Jerome, well, that represents man right there. Well, Jerome, you said there was a woman right here. All right, so that's a woman. The likeness of a woman right there. So where's the where's the woman at, Jerome? And I would say, okay, well. This all this rubbery and greenery right here, which represents the the growth and the tree of life and all of that, um, I say, well, okay, well, I can give you a woman. That's no problem. I come up here, and well, let me move out the way here and show you that here, again, there's there's the likeness of a woman, and it even shows you how it branches off to genetically bridge into these other women. Now, I don't can you see that? Yeah, you can see that pretty good. Now, if you guys remember in my last video, I did the Neanderthal video. That was my last video. And the Neanderthal's um, head was actually there, identical to this. And anyway, let me see if I can grab that image right quick with the Neanderthal. Not gonna happen real quick, but anyway, I don't have that there. But anyway, in my last video, you have the same exact scenario with the um, Neanderthal, where the Neanderthal is in the eye of the ancient witch like woman who I dub as being the mother creation, and it's signifying how man and woman actually was created and genetic bridging. So, in my last video, go to it, and when you see the Neanderthal, you'll see the same exact image where the Neanderthal was actually in the woman's body. Now look, now, this here represents that e Egyptian snake-like that, that actually comes snaking off, and it shows you how, look, and it's branching into to this other woman figure that is right here. It shows you how there is a connection. From here, there's the ancient ape right there. Then it shows you the branching from the ape, from the ancient ant, how there was a chemistry created that caused for the creation of other existences and likenesses of mankind, which were actually bridged to create this likeness over here. And this genetic, well, this is not the likeness, but this genetic makeup, and that is actually in Queen Esther. And this is why I'm 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 stating that figures like um, are like Jesus and many others that are highly regarded and referenced in these biblical moments and throughout history and even in ancient glyphs and stuff that it all references genetic bridging and manipulation. Now keep that that in mind. I'm going to bring in another image where I think that it was probably probably changed at one point. Now, that's, here's a whole different complete image. I'm going to take that image down. Now, keep in mind what I just did there because that's not impressing in itself. But what's going to impress you is I'm going to bring up another painting, but I probably have to take this back. Now, this is entirely different. Whoa. This is entirely, well, not entirely different. It's the same image, but it was repainted. It seems like to me because it's actually different in a sense. And I'll explain that in one moment after I back this off. So, and I want to show you something about this. Because it actually gets deeper. Alrighty. Do I have another? Where am I have a tax at here? I'm losing, I'm losing tax. Alright, but anyway. Uh, let me see how many. Okay, now. Look how these images change somewhat um you can tell that exactly do i have it right there side by side 
she's actually switched from here. So the paintings are, are obviously different, okay, even with the hands. And um, it seems like it seemed to be different artists. But the, re the message remains the same. Now, you see these encryptions here. Now, I'm going to give you how they actually took and tried to, to mask it. But in this one, which actually seems to be older, actually details more in these underlying encryptions. First of all, the ape that I showed you that is in this one, in the, um, the ape, the ape right here, in this one, is still there right here. But there's more to it here. Because what else is there? And I'm going to draw it out for you. And first, there is a face of an ape there. But first, I'm going to draw you what is there first. Now, just keep in mind that this is the cauldron's cup. This is the, the, the witch's brewing kettle. The mother of creation. All right? Who actually, in all my discoveries and all my findings appears that of just like a witch and just long and behold coincidentally this is a um, the cauldron is referenced as a witch's brew, um, brewing kettle um kettle okay so the witch's brew the mother of creation the, the likeness i mean perfect connection okay now first of all i'm going to tell you that this is what it actually appears to be you see what i'm doing i'm going to i'm going to this is in the likeness of a penis. Right there. See that? It's in the likeness of a penis. Right there. There's the entrance way to the penis. There's this is the helmet part of the penis. And not just any penis, that referencing that of a black man's penis. That's why it's that color. Or the ape. Ape's penis. Which also linking that of the black man now i didn't did i didn't did too good of a penis there now because now i can't show you the ape's face well let me see if i have another image of that same thing because actually yes i do because it also creates the face of an ape at the same time now i'm going to take it here that would be the, the penis right there. The, the, lip, the entrance of the penis would also. It creates the face of an ape. And we would have the eyes up in there. And it creates this face of an ape. That dubs as a penis. Alright. Now you're probably saying. Well Jerome. That good. You're, you're going um, straight overboard here. Well. What happens is also. It shows you. How these genetics from that ape. And that ape's penis comes up. And it's, they're shown here in the darkness of color. And it's shown how they enter into that scenario up there. See those genetics right there? Shown coming off that penis. Here, here, here. Look in between there. There, 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 there. And then it shows how they're entering in. Now, then, well, Jerome, what's being altered? Okay. It's showing you here. Do I have it? Yeah, I can show you in this one here because I actually have it drawn. Let me show you here what those genetics from that penis and that ape down here are doing. You can find them through genetic bridging up here in the hairs of the females up here. It shows you in their hair the faces of the genetics. And the faces are going both ways, people. Towards these females up here, which are, I'm stating that are genetic bridgers. They're genetic bridges. A face on each side. One facing out, one facing them. And look at their hair. And you'll see that in likenesses of beings that were created. Now it gets better. Emma, can you see that? I'm going to back that off and then bring it up because we need to, hold on, let me, let me lower this down some. I'm going to lower this down. I'm wasting a lot of time here on this. Okay, I'm going to get to the point. Now, okay, we're there. Now, up here in the corner here, people, 
up here in the corner. You see where this, this creature, this, this face here, I'm telling you that this is one of our ancestors that is up in here. And you can Google the image and see these images. It shows you the genetics coming from, and then you come up here, people. Now, look up here in the darkness. I'm, I'm probably on the wrong side. All right, look up in there in this dark matter up above these females' head, and you'll start seeing creatures and faces. And guess what else you see? There's like three of them in there in a, in a, in a multi-dimensional way. You will see coming from off the mouths of them genetics, look, coming down and connecting here. And it's showing you in their hair, which is almost a key way of somebody identifying your DNA through your hair, through your saliva, through the secretions of your bodily fluids. I mean, and this is what this is showing you. And this is why these creatures are appearing in the hair of what was supposed to be Queen Esther's servants. But however, I've discovered people that they are genetic bridgers. And I'm gonna keep I'm gonna hammer this home because there's more to this than you'll ever know. Now, um, where we at here? What can I tell you more about this? Um, let's turn this. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this image. And then I'm gonna, I, there's more I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna where are we at? Well, over here, I know I gotta have make my point here. I don't know how. It seems like I have a plan when I start out making these videos, and then it all goes out the window once I start. All right, now again at the hair. Where are we at? Of these mistresses, do as I do. Look, look in the hair. Now where's and where's the face? I lost the face here. All right, if you look up in the hair you will start seeing that there are beings all through the hair and through the hairdressings of these females. And you'll see the genetics, which all represents people. You'll see tongues out and everything, which all represents that of showing how genetics were bridged from the ape down here in the, in the, in the brewing kettle. Now, the chemistry of the origins of these genetics, which is ancient rooted genetics, the chemistry was cocktail, sent out, bridged, and sent into the queen, whom actually took from there and, and used herself as a, a genetic manipulating bridge. And you know what it's, you know what it's like? I'm going to tell you what it's like to be totally honest with you. And, and I'm saying it from a sense, you know, because you can check. I used to actually do it back in the day. But anyway, you know what it reminds me of? Imagine this being a drug at its purest state right here. And to alter it, you break it down and you cut it. And then start sending it out and sending it down in its, in its, in its broken down form. And it keeps mutating into something else and, and making its own different, making multi-different uh, multi types of drugs out of it, if that makes any sense to you. Okay? But this is what's happening. Genetics in its rawest form, a penis broken down. And this is how all of these other life forms from its original state was actually being altered and being sent out and this is how we have all of these different um, 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 pigmented skin cultures of today and that's what this is all about now I'm going to show you something else now I showed you the apes penis over here when it was in that state now let me show you and you can google this image too people like I said I'm going to show you how that penis made its way over here into Queen Esther after going through genetically going through the um, the females over here, her her servants. When you Google the image, look over. All right, where's the penis at, Queen? Oh gosh, I'm always screwing this up. I know that it's there. Well, anyway, here's one of the penises here. Look right there. And I and I made a lousy penis too, by the way, people. But there's a penis here, and it's shown, and it's blue. 
Okay, there's a penis there. And then over here on this side, do I have it drawn out in something else maybe? Uh, I might already have it drawn out. There's another penis in here. And I don't see it now because I'm looking at this from up. Oh, here you go right here. All right, I already have it drawn. So let me use it over here. In fact, I have it drawn up there too. That's why I try to pre-draw these things so I don't have to. All right, here's your other penis right here. If you look over here, there's a likeness of an ape right in here. And the penis is coming out of the ape's mouth backwards. Now, you're probably saying, well, Jerome, what in the world is the penis doing coming out of an ape's mouth backwards? And I'm going to show you in a minute. There's a transparent image of an ape right here. And it's shown that the penis is coming out. This here creates the genetic bridge, which is Queen Esther. And then it shows you how the penis comes out, spitting out, or spooling out, different genetics. And they're actually what Queen Esther is actually giving out. And this what this represents the white. It's representing that, representing that of her genetics overcoming all of this from here. From becoming black to white. Black penis shows genetic bridging all through here, all up through here. This whole entire image right there represents genetic bridging. Um, the servants was used. I think there's three servants there and all. Shows how they were um, genetically bridged, broken down from this, and ultimately creating a new genetic line. And this is where they're at. Showing you through the penis and the genetics of where it actually went. There's a penis here, and there's a penis right here. There, there, and there. You have three penises. Went from black to white, and that's what that's all about. Now, I'm going to show you something else about that genetic bridge, and I'm going to keep on going here. How many minutes? Are, okay, we can store. Okay, I still have a little bit of time. Look, people, I'm going to show you this again with this. Well, hold on. Let me show you about the, well, well, I'll tell you about the, don't let me, I got to do the eight thing with the, look, here's another image of Queen Esther. Uh, oh God. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna leave it down that small. Notice the two black servants. One is darker than the other. See the cauldron right there. Notice the the red, the blood showing you little casings. And if you look at the image close enough again, it shows you that there was a genetic bridging of the ancient, which is the ape, which represents the ape, taken into her body. And she took the, the genetics into her body and sacrificed her body as a genetic bridge. And this is what has actually had came out. And I don't have it here, but... In the hair, and I can't even see it from here, to be totally honest with you, but in a different resolution, if you look in the hair, it actually shows you the genetics that are actually being altered. And I can tell you that she's referencing the monkey, and in her hair, it actually creates that of the monkey. It's telling you, by her stretching her hair out like that, that she took in the genetics from both sides of these, of these um, um, African-like beings, took them into her body, and the end result was a new genetic line, and that's why she's grabbing her hair, showing that she was genetically, that she genetically altered them, and this is what is going. I'm going from this image to this image, and that's what that's all about. Now, I'm going to show you something else with this. Um, here we have it again here, that's saying it in another form, and if you look in the hair, those images are there. They're, they're very, and in the shadows. In the, in the shadows, it all it, it can all be seen. All right, hold on. This video is not turning out as good as I would hoped either. I thought that I was going to be able to have all of this down. All right, I'm running out of time. Okay, here's another image with Queen Esther with the slave girl, and this image 
And the reason why I'm using so many images is because I'm showing you all of the different examples that of the different encryption styles that this stuff is being this this is being said. Queen Esther laying there in all white. She's taking in the genetics from the slave girl. You know how it's being referenced? Very simple. You see that the slave girl's breast is exposed? Automatically, that's suggesting genetics. Just the same as, as the penis, the ape's penis being out. It's the same exact thing telling you that the genetics, that's why her, her breast is exposed. What other reason would a slave girl be on a bed with her, uh, with, her, with her breast out? Now, check this out. What's, what's happening here? Check this out. The, the slave girl is giving Queen Esther her genetics. You know how I know this? Besides the image it's telling you, what is what it's telling you, and this is a lot of being shown in Bibli in, 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 um, in the biblical um in Rembrandt's work and uh, Michelangelo's work, it's all being shown. The fabric torn away from here, and then the slave girl's hand handed over to Queen Esther, showing you that this represents the ancient skin of that of the ape. And it's showing you that this this slave girl is handing and you handing Queen Esther part of that genetically, which showing her clothing all over the queen, and to be taken and drawn into her body, where it's altered and changed into a complete different genetic. And that's what that's all about. Look at that picture, picture for me, the people. Digest that. Why would otherwise would a slave girl be in an image with her ragged and torn clothes? torn away, her breasts exposed, body artist, uh, her clothing all over Queen Esther, and Queen Esther's gracefully stay, um, um, sitting there, except for the reason, it doesn't make no sense in other words, except for just what I just said, think about it, breasts exposed, showing you that there was a genetic bridging, This, these, these clothings represent the ancient genetics of that of the ape, the origins of the ape, Okay, the slave girl is what is actually came from the ape, which represents her the likenesses and blacknesses of ancient origins. The genetics from there from it shows you that this this girl genetically gave those genetics that were ancient rooted of that of the ape to the queen genetically and is being depicted in an encrypted style, showing you that by the um, the clothing coming in contact with Queen Esther. And that's what that's all about. Now, I'm going to show you something else. So let's take that down. For those of you who don't get that, I mean, there's no other way, the best way to put that. This is what it looks like in modern times. This image is of Nicki Minaj. And this is her Roman Reloaded, from her Roman Reloaded pic, um, 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 photo shoot done by Deluxe Album Artist. Okay. I'm going to have to do this real quick because I only got a few minutes. Okay, now, first of all, the ape with the reverse penis in its mouth. Nicki Minaj is shown here. Now, I'm not going to go into detail. I have a video of this, people, so if you haven't seen this video, you got to see it. First of all, nobody knew I revealed that Nicki Minaj's white version is here, and then her torso of her blackened version, just like with, with Queen Esther... Showing the black slave girl is right here laying next to Nicki Minaj, her, her blackened torso. And if you guys don't know what it's looking like, I'm going to have to speed through this. It's her Roman Reloaded um, photo album um, and pics, promotional pics done by deluxe album artist. Nicki Minaj's torso is over here and it's shown with the spline torn out. And all of these different creatures spewing out of her back. It's the same thing that's actually being stated in what I just showed you with the Queen Esther uh, um, image. Okay? Images. And the ape with the penis in its mouth that I told you that was right here with Queen Esther. Let me bring that ape with the penis in its mouth. And the blue penis and all of that. The penises. There, there, and there. Long and behold... There's an ape right here up on the Nicki Minaj. There's the ape's mouth. And it has the shaft of his penis coming out of his mouth along with everything else. And it's showing you now that it's fueling blue genetics, which I actually know the origins of. It's a genetic, um, genetic line that I know what it is. There's a pig there. There's a reptilian there. 
get a full look at that people and then if there's there's dragons and everything else there see my video on that I'm gonna have to actually end up ending this video now because I'm running out of time but the same thing that's being said in the Queen Esther images in the cauldron cup and all that that's here is identical to what's going on here and it's linked and ancient rooted from the beginning of time to current I can do this in Hollywood I can do this with everything people I'm gonna end this video because my time is out um, Jeronification everyone just Jeronification or do Google my name Jerome right G-E-R-O-N-E W-R-I-G-H-T thank you